Hey guys, well there you have it, that's the new intro to the YouTube videos. Thanks very much once again to Martina and the rest of the guys at Zero Sun, who are a great band based down in Dublin and you can check out their website link just down below. Also, as a big thank you for that, I'll be doing a photo shoot with a band in the very near future, so we can look forward to that. So, today we're going to be working on some engagement photography from a shoot that we had in the woods and at the beach a couple of days ago. We braved the chilly weather and thankfully the rain cleared just in time and we were able to get some really cracking shots. So, here's some clips from the day, hope you enjoy it and we'll follow through with some Lightroom work. Well, on cue, it's like... <laughs> Zoom in, I think. And here we are in Lightroom. So here is one of my favorite images from the day. It was taken with my 50mm lens, f1.4, which is a great little lens. It's a lens which I don't use as much as I should, uh, but I did use it quite a lot at the beach for that shoot. So, okay, it looks pretty well exposed, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a quick color copy and we're gonna do a crunchy black and white as well. So, we're just going to bring the exposure up ever so slightly and um, we're going to bring down the highlights which should punch up the sky a little bit and then we'll bring out the shadows and we'll set our white point 
So finger on the Alt key, dragging the slider across to the right, just to get a white spot, a bit of white definition going on. Whoa, okay. I think we'll bring it to about 40, 38, 40. Should be good. Okay, and um, blacks. Um, there's quite a lot of nice shadow here, which I quite like. Um, we'll bring the blacks down slightly, I think. Uh, I always like to bring the clarity up, so we'll bring the clarity up a bit, which you bring out a lot of the details on the rocks and on the couple. Also, clarity is very good for, for bringing out the detail in the sky. We're going to bring down the, the blue luminance in the HSL bar, which obviously will reflect in the detail in the sky. Not too much because we don't, don't want to oversaturate it. I want to keep it natural. So about there is good. Uh, orange, <clears throat> sometimes uh, with whenever I'm photographing couples and models and kids and stuff, I tend to tweak the orange luminance slider and just bring it up a tiny little bit. And this, it, it, this directly affects skin tones. So I always like to bring up the luminance just slightly. Sharpening, we'll bring the sharpening up to, as I've said before, I always settle in and around 70 is usually quite good. And masking, finger on the Alt key and we'll bring the masking slider up. We want to mask some of the sharpening because obviously the sky doesn't really need sharpened. It's just a foreground, so dark areas in the mask are not interfered with and the white areas are the areas that are adjusted in the foreground so we'll leave it like that noise reduction we don't need to touch it shot at iso 100 and we haven't really bumped up the exposure or the shadows too much for it to bring out any problems with noise we can click on enable profile corrections and by default i like to select remove chromatic aberration and the horizon's pretty straight. Looks straight, so we don't need to touch anything else here. Vignette, I don't think we will actually use a vignette with this. I'm quite happy with, with the overall look of it, so we don't need to draw any more attention to the couple. So I'm quite happy leaving the vignette as it is. Uh, with the blue primary saturation, Bar in the camera calibration. I don't know if you can see this because my webcam is probably behind it. We'll maybe tweak up the saturation just a little bit with the blues. We'll bring it up to about 15. And as I've said before, it doesn't just reflect in the blue, it also can create a, a little bit of warmth as well with the image. So it's not like you're you're touching the temperature where you're cooling down the image or you're warming up the image. It actually does make it warmer. And it obviously makes the colors a lot more vibrant. Let's see it with it off. We'll switch it off. And we'll switch it on. So you can see certainly around here, it just makes it a little bit more defined. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I might just bring up the exposure slightly. And add a little bit of contrast, or we can actually take out some contrast. Now, normally I would add contrast, but I think in this occasion, because there's quite a lot of darkness going on around here, I actually do want to see some more detail. The higher you bring up the contrast, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be bringing out detail, sometimes you can lose a lot of detail as well. So I'm going to keep the contrast down in this case. And we'll keep it down to about, we'll keep it down to about 20. Okay, highlights, I'm going to bring down the highlights a bit more. If 
bring up the shadows slightly. Blacks, too much black. Yeah, about there it looks quite good. Quite like that. You've got quite a lot of detail going on. It's quite nice. Maybe slightly with the temperature, just warm it up a little bit. It was a nice sunny day, even though it was getting very chilly. And you can see the warmer I make the image, then we're adding more orange and reds. And we're losing some of, of the blue. So we don't, we don't want to lose too much in the sky. Okay, so something like that's good. I'm happy with that for a color edit. So we'll see the before and after. So before and after. What we're going to do is we're going to take a snapshot lap. So it's Control and N. And we'll save it as color. So, which goes into our snapshots folder. So we can go back to that later on. So for now, we can go back down and we'll reset this image and we'll get stuck straight into a quick black and white edit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to from color to black and white. And we're going to raise the exposure slightly. And we're going to add some contrast. We're going to darken the details, which will bring out the sky, hopefully. And we can bring the, the highlights right down. And we'll bring the shadows up. Not too far. One thing I don't want is, is an HDR look. But something which does bring out the tones and bring out the definition and the clarity at the same time. Blacks, I'm not too sure. Whites will, we can see with our histogram here that there's actually little or no pure white in this image. But I like to have a little bit of a white point so we can bring the white slider up looking at the histogram or with the mask, finger on the alt key. And just bring it up a little bit higher. It's This is the white point here that's coming through, which is the reflection on the watch. So clarity will make all the difference. And I love adding clarity to my black and whites. So we shall bring the clarity up. It will punch up the sky and also punch up a lot of the tones and details. Oh, it's looking, it's looking quite nice. It's looking very nice, dynamic, very cool. I like it. Now, as we know, we do have a lot of blue in that sky. So with the, the black and white toolbar, we can actually bring down, or with the blue slider, we can bring down the blue within the black and white tool, which will really make that sky really punchy. Something that looks good. Once again, don't want to bring it too much or else it will oversaturate with the blacks and the greys and it'll look mucky. Sharpening, once again, same as before, um, around 70 is good. Uh, masking, which I think was about 20, 25, 30. Something like that. Noise reduction we can leave. Enable profile corrections, which will take away the lens vignette and also just pull out the image to make it more natural. I don't always use it, but in this circumstance, I'm using it. Going on down. Will we use a vignette for the black and white? Let's have a look. We can maybe bring it in a little bit. Because our subject's heads are very, very close to the top of the image, if I was to bring this right down, it would darken their faces, which we certainly don't want. But I think with this black and white, I think we'll, we will add a bit of a vignette with this, and we'll go for color priority. I think about there is good. We'll switch it off. So before, and with the vignette switched on, 
Maybe just take a little bit more out of it. I don't want to lose too much. I don't want to lose any detail in the rocks here because I think it's quite cool with all the detail and stuff that's going on. And we don't need to touch our camera calibration. So this is looking good. It's looking nice and crunchy. What else can we do? Can we, will we add blacks or take blacks out of it? So we're taking blacks out of it like this to the right. Or we're adding blacks. And I think we will actually take some of the blacks out of it. Because we don't want to be losing any detail. Let's see, finger on the Alt key. Yeah, it's more like very, very, very dark gray, more than black going on around here. But still, I want to take more blacks out. So I'm going to raise this higher. And I quite like how it's how it's reacting with the skin tones as well. It's quite nice. So I think about there is good. Maybe add a little bit more clarity. So much nice detail coming up in the hair. Contrast. I'm going to bring the contrast down a little bit once again. I'm actually going to raise the exposure up slightly. Still think it's a little bit too dark. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, shadows. Blacks. Maybe bring more blacks in there. Just bringing the slider down a bit. Whites, maybe bring more whites. Send it slightly. Yeah, and I, I love I love the detail in the hair, uh, and the detail in the boots is really really nice. So yep, I'm starting to really like this. I, I I don't want to bring the clarity up too much higher. If I bring up the hundred percent, will we get away with it? <clears throat> Yeah, I think we will. I think we can get away with 100% for clarity in this image. I quite like what it's doing. It's bringing out a lot of drama, a lot of detail. Maybe bring down that blue slider slightly for that sky. Yeah, not too much. Okay, something like that is looking good i like it it's got a lot of nice detail going on i'm happy with that okay cool okay guys thanks okay well i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you learned something don't forget to click on the subscribe button which should be on the screen and also you can follow me on facebook and twitter and google plus so we'll catch you next time